I have six Christmas party games that everybody can play for you in today's video. So I also have a playlist of a lot of other Christmas party games. I will pop them in the description box down below if you want to search for even more. The 1st of December, I have my 12 Days of Christmas games coming up that you're going to want to watch. If we are just now meeting, hi, my name is Sean. Welcome on this channel. I do DIY party ideas twice a week. Let's jump into today's six Christmas party games. Here we go. For this first game, you are going to need some fake snowballs and a cute little bucket. This one says reindeer treats, and I had to show you this. Can you hear this noise? I found these cotton snowballs in the Target dollar bin, and when you squish them, they sound like you're squishing real snow. I don't know how they did this. If you don't have snowballs like this, you can always use cotton balls might work, or even those dryer wool dryer balls. First game is snowball toss. Divide your players up into teams of two. One person holds the snowballs, the other player holds the bucket. The winner is determined by the team that gets the most snowballs in their bucket. Here you can see my husband and I, we are standing pretty close together so this was pretty easy. The age of your players will determine how far apart you need players to stand. Game number two is called the Elf Command Dance and I found this game idea on thespruce.com. I will link them down below. They have a lot of great ideas on their website. Turn on some Christmas music, have one person man the music station, and call out different actions to do. Players will then have to act out the actions and then whenever the music stops, they have to stop and whoever is still doing their action and not paying attention is eliminated from the game. So this this game is great being played with large groups of people as well as only two people here. My husband and I are just dying and having a blast. Here, watch just a little bit of what we did and I will pop up on the screen what exactly the action was that we were trying to do. So have fun watching this short little clip. You are going to need your snowballs or cotton balls for this, some plastic cups, some tape, a sharpie. Give each of your plastic cups a point value and tape it to your table. Here I just use painter's tape. Duct tape probably would have worked much better. The cups would not have fallen over using duct tape, but honestly our table is brand new and I didn't want to risk messing up the table. <laughs> The object of the game is to toss snowballs into the cup for point values. So here it's just me, but the more players you have, again, the more fun this is going to be. Take turns throwing snowballs in and tallying up the points, and whoever has the most points when the snowballs are finished is the winner. Game number four is called Reindeer Toss. I found this game on Amazon, had to have it. I'm coming up with a review video. So I'll be able to share with you a little bit more about this product and whether I think it is good quality or not in an upcoming review video. Toss these flying rings at each other and see who can get the most rings on the antlers. We had a lot of fun with this game and plus you look ridiculous. Before I talk about games number five and six, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and ring that little bell to get notifications of when I upload. Let's talk about game number five. Game number five is called the cookie cutter maze. I did not realize how many cookie cutters I had at my house, but you're just gonna spread them out on your table and each player will take turns blowing a ping pong ball through the maze you have created. Set a timer, get like a stopwatch, and time the person to see how fast they can blow their ping pong ball through the maze. Game number six is the cookie cutter stack. So using those same cookie cutters, depending on how many players you have, you are going to need a lot of cookie cutters. Gather participants around your table, set a bunch of cookie cutters in the middle of your table, and see who can stack their cookie cutters up the highest in one minute and is the winner. I'm gonna pop a playlist right here of a lot more Christmas games. If you want some more ideas, then go check it out. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.